Yowzer, Yowzer, Yowzer. It is your boy, One Cracky The One Age One Cracky Gentle. Hey guys. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> I am bringing you guys today some fresh Mario Galaxy gameplay. It's my first time recording since like February because of my fucking broken wrist. So yeah. But now my wrist is, for the most part, healed. I'm just wearing a splint now, but I can do motion controls without much pain. And as you can see, I've decided to start. Um. This let's. This Let's Play video, God, I, I'm so, I have to not even in the commenting mood. This Let's Play video on uh, Letter from Luigi. Now, I feel we can just kind of guide ourselves along, kind of give me some direction, because it's been a while since I've played. I know the last time I played, I was at the um, uh, Freeze Flame Galaxy, but I'm still not 100% sure as to what I've done. So yeah, let's jump right back into things, shall we? Bro, I got the star, but now I can't get the back. This picture shows me where I am. Help! Uh, I don't think we actually have that galaxy yet, though. So... <laughs> no, I, no, I got it. Um, to be fair, I probably could go to that galaxy right now if I really dutifully wanted to. Um, quiet, quiet, yes. Uh, I could. I could. If I... Well, okay. It's, that galaxy is located in the uh, observatory, the engine room, which is... Uh, if I can get the camera set here. Just give me a sec. Right up there. Right in that spot there. Um... Unfortunately, since we are playing a hundred percent run, we are not at the ability to get a ground star yet. We are well, we I guess we could grab the ground star yet, but we're doing this in kind of a, a mostly linear order. As you can see, we've done the Beach Ball Galaxy, Bubble Bisbee's. Where have I been? <gasps> no, what the hell? Oh, I am so stupid. Oh, 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 jeez. Mmm, quiet. Yes. Ah. Okay. What was I thinking? We're actually over here in the uh, bedroom. Jeez, you can just—it just goes to show you how long it's been since I've played this. Um, no disrespect to this game, it's just uh, hockey injuries and stuff can really limit your ability to let's play and play video games. Now, you, if you've noticed, I have been in Titanfall videos, but those don't require motion control. <laughs> I think that's the big difference here. But with that, we are going to start with this new galaxy. Would you look at that? It's the Dusty Moon Galaxy. How very exciting. <laughs> I don't particularly like this galaxy. Due to a lot of... There's a... Like, the mo missions in here are kind of like kind of bullshitty. But it does, it, does ha it does introduce a new mechanic in like spinning through tornadoes and dry bones and such. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag. It depends on how you feel. If you like... If you kind of like that kind of gimmicky sort of challenge, I'm personally not one of the games. I'm more of like a guy, guy who like, sure, the game can have its gimmicky core, core, but if the gimmicks are part of the core mechanics, I will accept it and learn and learn to def learn to use it as the definitive experience of the game. Here, it's just more of like a look at fuck, look at Mario's arms. <laughs> look at okay, sorry, I'm just before I continue my tangent. <laughs> look at it. If I can get the camera flip. But look at his head; doesn't even move. <laughs> It's not just grow to a mess, like. But like I was saying, generally I like gimmicks in games. I do like gimmicks, but when the gimmick is something that's like level based, you know, or it's not, it's out of the way, it's really, or it's like solely developed for one sole area, and it's not as refined as it could be. As like the core, the core mechanics of a game, like for instance here with Super Mario Galaxy, sure the spin mechanic is an, is a gimmick, but it's not a core mechanic. Like a core mechanic in this game would be, see me doing a spin jump or a wall jump as such. And those, and since those mechanics are defined and well worked on, uh, they just they just play a lot better than the, <laughs> than the tornado spin Mario. As you can see, the graphics and such with his head not even moving. Maybe it's meant to look goofy. I don't know. But the thing is, the tornado doesn't even control very well. It's 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 hard to get a, it's hard to get a judgment of how how he perceives in 3D space, just of how the camera always seems to align when you use it. But that's just my that's just my two cents. Like, another good example of a game that really strays away from its core mechanics a lot of the time and shits itself in the bed. <laughs> an example of a game that really strays away from its core mechanics and, and almost ruins and shoots itself in the foot would be Sonic Lost World. Now, Jared's kind of doing an off and on. Let's play with that. I don't know where that's going at this point, personally. He's been... He's actually been working on a few other things. Um, he'll have actually a pretty cool video soon. Uh, we, we, we worked on... It's actually pretty damn fancy, if I do say so myself, you boys, girls, madams, and sis. 
Let's see. Sonic Lost World. Sure, the game is great. The game's core mechanics are excellent. The Sonic Sonic can actually control is not too bad. The parkour elements work, for the most part, but they're good. They're good enough to, to be a core mechanic of the game. But the things like the snowball level or, or I don't know, straight shot running and stuff, they don't work that well. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> like I was saying, Sonic Lost World really is kind of a really mixed bag, just simply because it strays away from its core mechanics and gimmicks. Un unlike just trying to make the best game possible out of what it is, you know. You know what I'm saying, home slash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, home home dog, home dog, home slash, home home hog, <laughs> big dick. <laughs> but but you understand what I'm saying. A game can stray away from its core mechanics as long as long as it as long as it complements itself. But when the game strays away from from it so much so that it it feels almost out of place and not really part of the game and unrefined and almost like an experiment, just developers just make hits and giggles. That's when it becomes a problem. If the game's core mechanics are good enough, sure, experiment with them. But if if you're gonna do a poor job with it, no. Like, it almost, it works here, because Mario Galaxy's core mechanics are so good, right, that they just, you can almost do anything with them, and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> they, they just work almost every time, just because the core mechanics are so good that they can make up for the more gimmicky ones. But in Sonic Lost World, the core mechanics aren't as solid, and are, are, are only just kind of just above average, and when the really, really gimmicky, shitty stuff comes in, the uh, core mechanics can't comp can't make up for it, and and, and they can't create that compliment, the compliment that uh, Mario Galaxy does. It really goes to show you that Mario Galaxy is kind of like this this game where it's almost it's near flawless. It, it, even when the game even when the game feels gimmicky and kind of and kind of forced, it can still it can still feel ever creative. I think is what I'm getting at here. <laughs> Jeez, I never even thought I'd go on a tangent in this video. <laughs> if there's one thing you if there's one thing you should know about my videos. I never I never plan them ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, these tangents just come out of nowhere. So. <laughs> Unscripted tangents. I'll watch this in editing. Probably hate it. No! Oh my God! Get over there! Get! Oh no! Hey guys, I am back now. After my mechanics core tangent thing, I don't even know what I was talking about. I can't remember now. <laughs> but welcome back. Um. Yeah, but I guess I guess kind of what I was getting at is Galaxy's core mechanics are so good that they can make up for the they can make up for the kind of shittier ones and kind of, and almost make them complement them at the same time. Well, for games like Sonic Lost World or Hello Final, it's another kind of game that's kind of experimenting and gimmicky off the top of my head. Uh, I don't know. I can't I can't think of anything other than that. But Sonic Lost World is a very good example. That's why it's called Sonic Lost World Galaxy, as Jared described to me when we were hanging out the other day. <laughs> good old, good old Jared. Um, but yeah. Galaxy just... It, it's, a, it's, a it's a definitive game in that sense. Very few games can take their core mechanics, expand upon them, and divert from them, and still feel creative and not forced. It, it really, t it's really a true testament to Galaxy's perfectness. Out of any, out of all the Mario games, Galaxy is probably, um, probably from a creative and a technical standpoint, the most creative Mario game, if not the most creative game ever made. Mario Galaxy is that good. May, while it may not be my favorite 3D Mario game, that that uh, that distinction goes to Sunshine hands down. It is probably the best one. I'm not going to deny that from a, like a journalistic, a creative, and endearing perspective. <laughs> I think I almost went like social studies on there. But with that, we got to stop. I didn't time it with my commentary right there, so now I'm going to have more editing to do. Fun stuff. <laughs> Oh, we have another star, do we not? You got a star, sewing on the dusty, dusty dude guys. My wrist isn't holding out. My wrist is holding out pretty well right now. Um, I haven't had any pain from shaking yet. Uh, <laughs> cause I did. I, spoilers. I have tr tried to record with my broken wrist, but I soon realized it was way too painful. <laughs> but now that I'm in a splint and my my wrist is 90% healed, what the doctor said. I can kind of do things now. 
Back back when I tried, I had like my I saw like a white cast. I, I went I went from a white cast to a black cast without the splint. Um, I tried recording my white cast and even earlier with the black cast and it was still way too painful. But now that I'm in the 90% stage and we're just wearing a splint, I think it feels pretty good. So no need to worry on you fellow you my my little fellow bastard minions. <laughs> and there the doorbell rings. Dog, shut up. Welcome to the galaxy. All right, uh, let's let's get this start with some fresh commentary because I feel this video has been quite dull and rather boring so far. Thus far, thus far we we fight the Pokeons. What what are these? Aren't Pokeons like supposed to be uh beige or, or even like blue? Like as evidence to pay for more. I've never seen a well. I guess you can see, I guess yeah. I guess if there's blue Pokeons and there's beige Pokeons, I guess there's gonna be green Pokeons too, right? Uh, oh, there's a red Pokey. A red Pokey. Getting pokey with it. Get pokey with it. Oh, I thought I had. Oh, that was sweet. That was so sick. That was so sick. Oh my goodness. That was so sick. Hey, maybe this recording's not going too bad after all. Not a ton of editing. Ooh, I thought I was dead. Oh, I, if I can remember correctly. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, no, stop. Jump. Uh, go underneath. Wait, yeah? Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, shit, I got it. Okay. Uh, collect all the star bits, because I believe there's a secret over here. I do believe. I, I indubitably believe there's a secret around here. You not my Bijax. <laughs> uh, what is it? Um, and there's a mushroom? Yes, there is! My memory is actually good today! Oh my goodness, guys! Are you excited as I am? Um... Let's get a coin shell. Yes, I was correct. Look at that beauteous, beautiful. What? <laughs> no, no, the star bits. Yeah. What are the star bits? They're gonna break. Oh, I got one of them. Oh, he only needs 20? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uncalled for panic, but you know what? At least we got it. At least we got it. A new planet has been born! Predicted before the text appeared. Pink! Oh, look at them jaggies. <laughs> hey, this is a Wii game. Can't expect any aliasing, can we? <laughs> any aliasing. Um, if there's, any, if there's anything that can make a game pass its, its natural resolution is any aliasing. Recently, I switched to PC. I'm not switched, but I've but I've started PC gaming, and oh my God, does anti aliasing make a difference? Most console games don't have anti aliasing, simply because anti aliasing is super taxing on your hardware. But if you can run it, okay, so you take like the, the resolution you have with 1080p, and say you run it with like some good anti aliasing like SMSA or or, M or MSAA, something like that, it can make the resolution look like twice as twice as finite. It just I, I know a lot of you guys are probably console guys, considering you're, considering you're watching a channel that's primarily Nintendo Let's Plays. But you got you owe it to yourself to give PC gaming a try if you have the money. You you owe it to yourself. Before you say console exclusive, just 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 have both. Just have both. Is that really so hard? I don't know. Personally, I have a Wii U, PS4, and a PC now. Um, I like I just I just said the PC. I don't know why I mentioned that. Um. Thing. It's a it's a great fantasy game. Though. Don't be afraid to try other try other platforms for gaming. You're really you're you're really shooting yourself in the foot if you do. I, that's just that's just my take on it. You're missing out on all these other great games. Well, like every console and every every platform has its own flavor to share. Like even mobile gaming. Uh, what was that game? Like a mobile gaming, you get a lot a lot of great a lot of great like kind of like you know mobile or not mobile games. Sorry, puzzle games like quick pick up and play games. Games that are like small and addictive. That's like a unique experience for them. Oh, look at that! I got a L5. Or even like, um, or even like gaming like on the Ouya. Well, that's more of like a hard, more of like a harder core version of like mobile game. But you get my gist. 3DS, PS Vita, like those a more hardcore uh, kind of handheld style. The PS4 with its with its often getting the definitive console port of of, of multi-platform games, where you're getting the Xbox One for. Titanfall, if you don't have a PC, but I have a PC, so that's why I'm playing Titanfall on it. <laughs> but you guys already know that I actually have a PC, so I'm playing Titanfall, like doing a Titanfall Let's Play with, with you guys, with, with with our beautiful Jared and Nathan. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful green stars. Uh, yes. But yeah, you really owe it to yourself to, to expand other platforms. I, I want to get, 
I okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. If I had the option, I would get I would go out and buy a or sorry, if I had the money, I would go out and buy an Xbox One and a PS Vita and a heartbeat. But unfortunately, my budget only allows me to have a PC, PS4, and a Wii U. I don't. To me, to me, you're, you're, when you buy those other two, like the to me, the Xbox One and the PS Vita are kind of like those luxury consoles, because compared to their comp compared to their counterparts, they don't offer as much. Okay, but, okay. Before you rage about the P the PS Vita, I'll, I'll I'll explain my take on it in a sec. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, we got all three uh, green stars now. So now we have access to the trial galaxies. I don't know when I'll do those. Um, uh, <laughs> that'll be its own video. Uh, I don't know when we'll do the trial galaxies. I personally don't want to think about doing them. Oh boy. Oh my god. Herb derbs. 